Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how to make a very cool Father's Day arrangement since Father's Day is literally like this weekend. So I hope you guys enjoy this arrangement and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button below. Leave me your comments and don't forget to support your girl. Love you guys, let's get started. Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so today is gonna be such a cool arrangement and these are gonna be the items that we will be using. It's gonna be a quick video, it's so cute. I can't wait for you guys to see. So this one is gonna be an 18 inch balloon, just your regular 18 inch balloon um, foil. It says, Happy Father's Day. So it's more like a superhero type of arrangement. And um, this will be inflated with helium. So you can grab these at your local party store and inflate it with helium. We're also going to be using this box. So basically, I went to the Dollar Tree, I got a few boxes. This is from like sometime last year or so, and I had some leftover boxes. So what I will be doing is I'm gonna take this teal color out, and I'm only going to be using the box, okay? This one is, seems like a, it's a regular square box. I don't even know the size, but I know some of you guys are gonna be asking me for it. I will say it's a five by five or so, but this is um, what the box looks like. I'm also going to be using tissue paper, any color, because my balloon is red, gold, and crazy blues. I'm using kind of that color scheme. Gold, and it's also gonna go with my gold right here on the side. We're gonna need your fish line. Now this one right here, it's a, 30 pound right there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's going to be a 30 pound. Um, there you go. A 30 pound weight. Okay. So this one is the stronger one. It's a thicker one. And here you go, guys. So basically, you know, those, um, inserts for the binders, those plastic inserts. I, what I did is I bought some binders inserts and I cut them in what it looks like this strips and I basically just use my heat seal machine and heat seal the sides creating this sort of like pocket because what I'm going to try to accomplish it's to put this inside and you guys I don't want to say so much because my husband's listening downstairs and I kind of kicked everybody out the room so I can do this arrangement for you guys but I am doing this for my husband and for my father. So this is what's gonna be, okay? So I got uh, the money ready to go to insert in them. And I had, I made a total of 10 each. So this is what you see right here. And last but not least, you're gonna need ribbon, any type of ribbon. It doesn't matter what the color is. So let's get started. Okay guys, so once you have all your bills inserted in your envelopes, what you're gonna do is use your fish line and you're gonna line up all the envelopes in a nice flat line, just like I'm doing in the video. Give yourself a little bit more space because you're gonna need it. And once they're all back to back, you're going to proceed and place your fish line right on top of it and securing it with scotch tape. So make sure that it's taped in there well, marrying the two ends of each bill and the fish line. Okay, you guys, so now this is what I have, you see? And you can put as many as you want or not as many 
but you know, the quantity that you want. The whole point is so that when it goes up, there's like almost like an accordion type. So what I did was, and you can secure it more, but I wanna be able to fold and fold it like an accordion, if that makes sense, see? Just like this. So you have to kind of, it's almost like a trial and error. Um, you have to see that when it like pulls, it makes sense how it's gonna pull. Grab your box. I'm gonna focus the camera here so you guys can see what I'm doing. So you're gonna place this just like this. But that residue that you have, you're gonna tape at the bottom of the box. You want to secure it. You don't want the stuff to fly and fly out. I'm sure you guys have seen those fail videos, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna make almost like a next mark with my tape. Tape it right to secure it. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's right there, okay? I'm going to secure it one more time because you know what? You can never be can never be safe. So add another almost like a next mark. Could you add a balloon weight? You can. Um the thing is my box dimension is shorter, so my balloon water balloon or balloon weight would have taken so much um space out that this would have shown and this I want to conceal. That's the whole purpose of the surprise. Cut your residue and you're going to lay your bills just like that, okay? You still have stuff peeking out here, if you see it. Okay, now, don't do anything just yet. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna inflate your balloon with the helium. Now, today, you guys, is what? Um, today is Thursday night. So I have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, up to three days. Remember, these balloons with helium, they can last for weeks and months, okay? So grab your helium. and inflate your, your balloon. You can even buy these at the dollar store, like the balloons already inflated. You ask it, if you don't want to um, you know, buy a whole tank, what you can do is just go to the dollar store, get one of those already inflated helium balloons, bring them home, and just do what I, I'm doing right now. So if you don't wanna necessarily spend that much money on a tank which these are not even that expensive, but you know, I can understand if you don't want to spend that much money. Okay. So you want to inflate it so that it's like solid, right? because you do want to make sure that this can pull the weight of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the bottom here and I'm going to attach my, what you call it guys, uh, my fish line to here. I'm going to tie it nicely. If you have somebody helping you, it's even better. Just gets tricky with fish line because, you know. See you guys? But it has to be, it, it can be that heavy. It has to really Okay, you guys, <laughs> changing plans.
So originally, I wanted to do this cool balloon. Turns out this, even though it has helium, it's not strong enough to pull this right here, this weight, even though it's light. So now I'm thinking, okay, what can I do? I have these cool looking earth orbs that I think I can fill in with helium and it's gonna take a lot more helium, but um, these are, I think if done properly and it floats, it's gonna be stronger than my little other balloon, the 18 inch. These are regular 24, I think they're 24 inch orbs, so they're pretty big. So I'm wondering how is it gonna look? It might look a little bit disproportionate, but at the end of the day, you know what? The whole aspect of, whoa, the surprise aspect is gonna be there. So I think it'd still be good if I put it here. I just gotta double check how everything is gonna turn out to be. So now why do I have an earth situation here? So what I was thinking is once I do the earth balloon, I can always do some decals or um, some like vinyl and say like best dad in the world, kind of like this picture right here, kind of like that. So that's why it's the world, right? So wish me luck, let's see if it works. Okay guys, moment of truth here. So it's inflated and as you can see it just floats. Uh, the trick with the orbs, because I know a lot of people sometimes don't know how to inflate them, you can be scared. You have to inflate them all the way to capacity so that you don't get that like lines over here. Make sure they're smooth and you get that round shape as opposed to that almost like a square cube type. Good thing about this is that it has a little incision right here where you can like tie your fish line. So you guys wish me luck that this works. Otherwise my plans are gonna go down the drain and I'm gonna have to come up with another, another idea. <laughs> and it's like literally last minute. But you know what? This tutorial is about trial and error. So if I win, you guys win. If I fail, you fail. <laughs> or at least you learn from my mistakes, right? All right, let's see. Let's say surprise. Wow. It works, it works, it works, it works. Okay, you guys, look at this. It's awesome. All right, it has enough power. So I think maybe you know what the trick is, you guys, that next time you don't put that many bills. <laughs> Because I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have nine. I have a total of nine. I thought about even doing 10. So I think the good thing is maybe if you do five will work perfect. I'm wondering, maybe if I do five bills, these will work. We can try it out, you guys. You know, you'll never know. Maybe the less bills the higher it goes. So I will continue to do this one, see how it turns out. I think this one would have been just enough. It would have been perfect, but I wonder if maybe I need to put less um, envelopes so that way it gives it enough chance to levitate, right? Um, because this is so good. So maybe that's another That's another way. I have to do another one, so we'll, we'll contrast and compare, right? But this one seems to work perfect, you guys. I'm so excited. Okay, so with that said, I'm gonna reel it back in, okay? And you know what the cool part about these things is they will hold, they will hold um, the, the healing for a long time, so cross fingers 
I think it will last. It will last. But I, my best guess is maybe do less envelopes, um, higher the amount of, and um, that way you don't have, but you still want that kind of, you know, um, uh, surprise factor, right? Okay, so I think this is, this is good. So this is what I got you guys so far. And I think it still looks so stinking cute. Okay, so this is what it's gonna look. At least this one, which is not, I'm not mad about it. I like this balloon. I just have to do a little bit extra more work and put here, you know, some decal, I mean, vinyls. So now here's where my ribbon comes to place. So my ribbon is going to hold this piece down because once they untie it, it will levitate, it will float. So this, Grab your tape. And secure your ribbon at the bottom. Okay, so the next thing is I'm just gonna use my tissue paper. I got two different shades, okay? You can use any color, doesn't matter. my lamp is right in the middle so i think that you should be able to do it before do this before that way you're not struggling like i am and i would just tape it tape it and the reason why we put the tissue is just to conceal what's in the corner so they don't expect it you know that's the only reason why we put the tissue you can use anything any fabric tool whatever you want but it's just to conceal the corners, that's all it is. There you have it. Look at how cute this is. Look it. And you can't really tell anything that's in there. Right? How cute is that? And all you do, you guys, is just like personalize it. You know, you can say happy Father's Day. You're the best dad in the world and their names. And this is just so stinking adorable. I mean, look at that. Simple, easy, with a wow factor. A factor in there of surprise, unexpected. Pull, goes up, you're golden. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed these type of videos. I know it was a little bit of a, a little bit of a twist of events because originally we wanted to do this one that's cool as well but i am so not mad at this i mean i actually love this so you guys i hope you enjoy these videos don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button below leave me your comments and you guys still have about two more days to go ahead rush to the store and get your stuff so you can surprise those daddies on father's day happy father's day guys